Okay, welcome back to the garage boys and girls. So today we're going to take a step away from the race car and we're going to do a little bit of TIG welding. Um, I've been TIG welding for the better part of 25 years, something like that. Um, I would like to think that I have a pretty decent hand at this and I've used all kinds of products and all those things. So today we're going to do a little bit of a product review. Um, now, first, I want the disclaimer to be um, that these are import products, probably from China. Uh, I'm, in fact, I'm sure they are. Um, but the thing to remember is, is that this is for the budget-oriented crowd. And I know that some of the um, American product purists, myself included, um, in that group are not going to like the the imported products no matter how good bad indifferent they may be um, so having said that let us get started on the video what we are reviewing today is the Chinese made what I believe to be Chinese made TIG torch products gas lenses in particular um, I think that a lot of these products that you see on eBay are probably made in the same place. Um, and it's the same product sold under a gazillion different companies. I'm not sure about that part, speculation on my part, but I think that that is probably the case. Now, having said that, the, the TIG Torch products that we're going to look at, um, my first impression is, is that they came very well packaged um they were wrapped in in styrofoam bubble wrap uh taped up be i mean you couldn't even tell what it was there was so much tape and foam and bubble wrap and whatnot and i think that that's part of the the factory wrapping if you will um it's a a complete set it's going to be the gas lens the adapter the collet the o-rings and the cup and the torch back cap. So, um, I'm going to show you these products. I've already unwrapped everything. I'm going to show you what the products look like and some of the things that I do and don't like about them. And then we'll get started testing them. Okay, so these are the, the products in general. Um, these, this is two complete sets. And the only thing different about the sets is the style of gas lens or the style of the cup that they use. All right. And as you can see, I think this one is a 5 8 cup. And I think this one, or I'm sorry, that's a 3 quarter inch cup. And I think this is a half inch, if I, memory serves me correctly. Now, first impression is that I can't tell the difference between this and the name brand stuff. This particular, um, call it adapter, or gas lens adapter, is... It looks exactly like name brand stuff. I, I, I can't tell the difference. Same for this one. Now they're going to be, these particular ones are the same, um, same size. These are both uh, 1 16th inch. Now these, the collet itself, if I can pick it up, um, you're probably not going to be able to see it in the video, but the text up here at the top end of this thing is a little... Um, I don't know, cheesy looking, I guess, is the word. Um, now, having said that, uh, I have name brand products um, over here on my workbench. And they look the same. But, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. They look the same. The O-rings, um, the, the nylon or Teflon adapters that go on the back of the cup. And the back caps, they all look the same. I, I don't know what to say about that part. So let me see if I can dig around and find some of the name brand stuff and I'll show you what they look like also. Okay, so I have a couple of name brand products here and I'm gonna sit them next to the other products, the, um, the other collets and the other back caps. Um, Aside from the back caps being a different size, you can't tell them apart. So I'm going to flip the camera around, show you the collets, show you the back caps, and 
then we'll get on to the actual testing of the product. All right, so right there, this this back cap is a name brand uh, sold by CK Worldwide, uh, right there. So as you can see, no appreciable difference there. These two are the collets. These things are very, these things are really small, so I have to have the camera really close. Uh, I'm only probably an inch and a half away from these things. Um, probably not going to be able to see it in the camera. Uh, the only difference that I can see is that the text on the one that I have my finger on is a little better than the one on the right. So, you know, what do you do? Um, I... I like to use American-made products whenever it is possible. Sometimes, um, due to budget constraints, it's just not feasible. And I'm not talking about for me, but I'm talking about for, for others. There are people who work in a budget, and sometimes that is what dictates our choices for the products that we use. Um, it is what it is. So now I'm going to clean off my workbench because it is a wreck as you can see all the junk on it behind me and we're going to test these things out okay so I, I wanted to throw something else out there um, this is a Chinese made torch body um, from eBay that's uh, I think it was nine nine dollars or ten dollars or something like that my buddy Chris gave it to me and the reason why I bring that up is because I've been using this torch body for the better part of a couple years. Uh, actually, more than that, probably three or four years. And I haven't had any problems with it. Nothing. The threads are still fine. The worst thing is, I don't think you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. This piece is broken right here because I dropped it on the floor. I left it there and I stepped on it. Um, so, yeah. That's uh, that was definitely my doing, and nothing, no other way to put it. So I need to get a wrench to get this piece off of there, and we're gonna switch over to the new stuff. Okay, so that piece did not come out peacefully, and it didn't take just a wrench. Um, I actually had to get the pliers after that and grab a hold of the threads um, to get it out. But that one is a Weldcraft made in USA um, I'm not saying anything like it's bad or anything like that I'm just saying that these um, these pieces go through a lot of heat a lot of cycles hot and cold and the copper that that piece is that end is made out of um, they're really really good about galding um, and tearing up the threads so take it for what it's worth now we're gonna put the other stuff on there get it on there the rubber piece on the torch is a little bit um, misshapen after that okay I had to get a little screwdriver to poke the uh, rubber piece into the groove in the back and judging by how the rubber piece on the torch looks I would say that it probably wasn't in there good before. Okay, so one thing to notice here is that on the Chinese made parts, um, let's see, yeah, definitely not stamped made in America or anything like that. Um, the Chinese made parts are all brass. So it looks like the Weldcraft brand is two pieces. Um, the top, the piece that threads into the torch head is copper, the body is brass, and even on the Chinese made piece, there is a brass, uh, the insert in there is brass and is apparently pressed in, judging by the machine work. Um, probably can't see that in the camera. Nonetheless, we are here to review and try it out. Let's see what it does. Now my torch is not cooperating and the rubber piece is not in the best shape. 
I ended up having to chase the threads in the head of the torch. And for anyone wondering, they are 8 millimeter, 1.0 pitch. So the O-ring goes on that piece like that. The insulator goes on there like that. You screw it all together until it bottoms and you stop. Don't crank down on it because it's not going to work. And then this piece, all it is, is that. It just slides on there and that's all that holds it on there. Now, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that, but that's the way all of these things are made. Then you drop the collet down in from the back, or you can put it in from the front if you like. Back cup goes on there like that. And you are ready to do business. Now, I will drop the tungsten in there and make sure everything clamps down correctly. Okay. Tungsten is in. All right, I think we are uh, ready to do business. Let's try it out. Okay, so the first cup didn't do too good, um, presumably because it needs more gas flow. Now, I had cranked the CFH all the way up to 40 uh, for the first cup, and it um, didn't do very good at all. As you can see, it's uh, the welds are really gray. That last little section is what I did with the smaller cup. So... Let me turn the amperage down a little bit. Okay, so the little cup works good. We need to find out what's going on with that big cup.
All right, so immediately it acts like it doesn't have gas coverage. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. I did test it several more times. Um, the big cup failed every single test. And just to make sure that there wasn't something wrong with my setup, I took, um, I added an O-ring to the big cup and I ran it with two O-rings just to make sure that it was sealing around the gas lens adapter itself. Um, I, I changed tungsten, I put new tungsten in it. Didn't use any welding rods. I did, I, the sample I'm gonna show you was done, was fusion, so there's no welding rod at all. I welded with the torch tilted way to some one side. I welded with the torch straight up and down, and it didn't, didn't do any good either way. It didn't matter what you did to it. The only time that I got close to a decent looking weld was when the, the tungsten was flush with the end of the cup and the torch was straight up and down. That's the only time I got even close to having a good looking weld. So I'm going to show you those results right now and let's see what we see. let's see what it looks like. Okay, uh, starting left to right, these two welds are done with the small cup. This weld is done with the big cup, the torch straight up and down, and the tungsten flush with the end of the cup. And that's the only time that it didn't oxidize, and it's not very practical to use it like that. All These three are all done with the big cup and varying amounts of argon flow. And this is from anywhere from I think 20 right here to 40 to 30. Um, I had it all over the place. And no matter what I did to it, it didn't do any good. So take it for what it's worth, guys. The, the big cup was 100% flop for me. The small cup was fine. Uh, welded great. And I, I did some really nice work with it um, off camera. So hard to say. I have some more of this, uh, these kind of products on the way. Um, they just haven't arrived yet, so I'm gonna test them out just the same. Outside of that, this is the end of the video, guys. Thanks everybody for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up, um, share it, subscribe if you haven't, if you like the hot rod stuff and whatnot. And outside of that, we'll see you in the next video.